Greetings, friends. So today's video is titled Three Crosses, Two Wolves, One Son. So we went over in a last in a few posts ago about how the analogy of the, the good wolf and the bad wolf and whichever you feed wins and how that's actually a gross misinterpretation and how we, we feed both wolves, which represent the psyche, our mentality, exploring our dark side and honing and taming that and not just pushing it under the rug or starving it out. We integrate both, um, the left and the right side, to become a better human, <laughs> work on ourselves. That kind of leads us to the second step, which is the three crosses. The Judeo-Christian Bible talks about how Jesus is in the middle, there's a thief to his left and his right, the thief to the left represents this would be, this is where we're getting the meat and potatoes. The, the thief to the left represents entities, energy, and everything's energy. These two thieves represent those, that energy. Some call them spirits. It doesn't matter. It's real. <laughs> Trust me. And so the deeper analogy is that Jesus being in the center, that represents you. You are the Christ. The Christ lives within you, rather. The thief to the left of Jesus, of you, represents spirits of a negative polarity, right? I, I don't need to go into that too deep because it's bad spirits, spirits you don't want to fuck with, as in like, they're just going to make you feel bad for whatever reason. The thief to the right represents these positive spirits, these positive energies. Here's the thing. What you need to understand, though, is that the spirits to the right, right consciousness, while they have good intentions, they're always here to help. It's your job to stay in the middle, because if we go too far to the right, then you're going to be that guy or girl, or whatever, that spends the rest of their life in a cave meditating and not really helping anyone or doing anything. Or we all know of somebody who's just like, yeah, everything's love, positivity, oh, tra la la la. Something bad happens and they're just distraught or, distraught or they just run away. You know, it's too far to the right. Our job is to stay in the middle to be nailed at a fixed point <laughs> and to navigate life's problems, to navigate with discernment, to not go too far left, to not go too far right as we're on this path to self-mastery. So remember, while there's good entities, there's bad entities, and the, the three crosses represent this, remember that those two entities are still thieves regardless. So that's why we stay in the middle continue to work on ourselves don't go too far left don't go too far right and that's how we develop our own christ within that's how we are the one son every one of us individually is represent as a part of god the, the universe whatever and so it's our job to work on ourselves and not get too influenced by these energies entities we are the one son we individually we are the one son but you ever think about it? You know why Jesus had 12 disciples? It represents the 12 zodiacal signs in, in the zodiac. The 12 signs revolving around the one sun. That's you. <laughs> You're the one sun. The Christ that lives within. That's the deeper esoteric uh, analogy to the three crosses. That's what I believe. It's fine if you don't believe it. I do not need to hear what you believe. You don't need to hit me up and fill up my fucking DM with... Blah, 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 this. It's okay. Believe whatever you want to believe, man. I just know there's some other people out there that always probably wondered, what does that fucking story mean? So when I was taught it, blew my damn mind. It's like, that makes sense. And I wanted to pass that information on too. So I hope that fucking helps. I love you. Doses.